Hey, what's up guys? Miles Summerville here. And today we're we'll doing a ROM review of Euphoria OS for the Nexus 6. So let's get started. So Euphoria OS is a basically a version of Signage Mod 12.1 with some custom features that Euphoria has added in to make it kind of their own ROM. So first let's go into the settings here. And I am running a custom theme by the way. If you guys want to know what that is, it's uh, the Euphoria Dark theme. So it's a combination of the icons from the regular system default theme, uh, the wallpapers and status bar from the Euphoria Dark theme, and the navigation bar from the Flex theme. So I just combined them all together and make them into one cool looking custom theme. So uh, we go into about phone, as you can see, Nexus 6, and it is 5.1.1 Lollipop. And we are running on Euphoria version 1.1 for the Shamu. This is the latest build as of me recording this video, so the 12th of June. So we have all the known signage and mod features that uh, we've seen in stock signage and mod. So let's first go into more, see if there's anything in there, obviously no. But we do have some display and light settings. We have adaptive brightness that optimizes the brightness level for available light. We have live display, which like I said, I've tested this on a Moto G and it's pretty dang terrible. It lags the, uh, the phone down a lot and it just warms the temperatures of the, the warms the color temperatures on the screen which it doesn't look too pretty in my opinion since the Nexus 6 already kind of has a pink tint to it when you lower the screen brightness. Uh, ambient display, that's already a stock feature, and we also have double tack to wake and sleep. You already know how that works, so I'm not even going to demo it. And we have rotation, and we also have a screen recorder, which is starting to become more well known in these signage and mod custom ROMs. So as you can see here, we can record external audio from the microphone, which I already have enabled. The highest video size we can still do to this date is 720p. And uh, we, our highest bit rate we can do is 20 megabits per second, which I think improves the quality a little bit, makes the file sizes a lot bigger. Uh, we have LCD, density settings, uh, and Daydream as well as uh, the, the use of a hidden notification light in the Nexus 6. If you're running any type of stock ROM, see as you can see there, if you're running any type of stock ROM on the, the Nexus 6, if you're running the usual Google stock Android on the Nexus 6, you will not have access to this notification light, and I can guarantee that you'll basically almost never see it. But if you're running a custom ROM that knows how to utilize this hidden feature, you can enable the light, and I use it all the time because my, all my previous phones have had notification lights that you can use without having to root custom ROMs, which is I think is pretty silly not to have on the Nexus 6, especially if there's literally one in there. So it doesn't pulsate. It does change colors a little bit. It can basically change to all the colors, white, blue, green, yellow, red, all those basic colors. So we also have notification settings. Nothing really new in there. We have our lock screen settings. It's basic stuff like quick unlock, known signage and mod feature. We have automatically lock, which is stock, obviously. We have our button settings, which you can enable and disable in Euphoria OS. You can have left-handed mode, so when you go into portrait, it goes to the left side of the screen, just in case you want to use that. So as you can see here, you can ex record external audio from the microphone, you can screen record, and you can also, uh, as of right now, the highest video size you can record in is still 720p, which is kind of disappointing since we have all these quiet HD phones and 1080p phones out there. And the highest bit rate you can record in is uh, 20 megabits per second, which will improve the quality a little bit, but make the file sizes uh, noticeably, noticeably larger. So that's all we have for basically our display settings. We go to buttons, we can enable and disable in Euphoria OS, as you can see. And we can also use left-handed mode. So whenever we put it into portrait mode, the navigation bar button go to the left side of the screen if that's something you prefer. Me, not so much. Uh, we can show the arrow keys while typing, so you can 
scroll through the text that you're typing, which I think is pretty cool. Uh, you double tap to sleep. You can double tap the nav bar to sleep, which I don't think is pretty cool. What if you accidentally double tap it or something? Uh, that would be kind of annoying. And you, just, you can obviously change the buttons and layout, which I'm not going to do right now. You can do basic stuff like change it to menu and search. We have the dimensions. We have the ring targets. So right now I have mine on flash and camera. So when I do that, it toggles the flash. And I can disable it as well. And I can also go into the camera, as you can see. So, we also have wake up device, uh, playback control, reorient, so swap the volume buttons while the screen is uh, rotated. So, right now this is the volume up, oh, this is volume up, and this is volume down. So if I have reorient enabled, this will be volume up, and this will be volume down. This is something I'm starting to see on the latest builds of Signage in Mod 12 and even 11. If we go into our status bar settings, we can change the clock style. We put in the center, left, right, or you can hide it. I always have mine in the center, particularly since the Nexus 6 has a fairly large display. Uh, we can dis enable and, re and disable uh, AM and PM, so you can have it next to the clock, so you can hide it if you don't want it, and uh, enable it. We can also have weather, weather in the quick settings, so we show the weather for where I live, 80 degrees out here, which is pretty nice. Uh, circle battery, sta battery status style, so you can do circle, icon, landscape, uh, so it'll be in landscape mode, as you can see. And we can just put it back into portrait mode, but I'm going to keep mine a circle because I like that a lot. It's a really nice uh, signage and mod feature. We can have our notification count so it shows the number of, number of pending notifications if we have any, the super user indicator, and the brightness control. So if I slide across, it should be getting react. It gets brighter, and I can make it get darker. I don't know if the camera can detect that. We also have notification drawer settings. So right equals quick pull down. Can't do that on the left side, only on the right. We can do smart pull down, which is uh, you can have it dismissible, uh, persistent, or no dismissible, persistent. You can auto close panel among pressing on a toggle. So if I were to enable this, like if I turn off auto rotate, well, it should. Yeah, so if I turn off my Wi Fi there, it will bring me out of the uh, click settings panel. And you can also vibrate on touch. And clicking on icons in the notification drawer. Uh, in our other settings, we have obviously performance, which has become a lot more locked down than it has been in the past, which is kind of disappointing because there's no direct in setting CPU uh, overclocking settings that you can do, which uh, or or clocking just messing around with the clock speed. Period. Uh, we obviously have super uh, super performance, which I actually need to update my binaries pretty soon. And uh, yeah, so that's basically all the bit for the settings. Uh, it's a fairly uh, signage and mod based ROM. It doesn't have too cra too many crazy features, just a lot of real uh, handy stuff and useful things that they've implemented in this ROM. So how about we talk about performance? So the Nexus 6, as you probably know, is one of the fastest phones out there. Uh, it's got high-end specs, and uh, as you know, uh, as you might know, Euphoria has implemented a lot of stuff into this ROM to make this thing one of the fastest performing ROMs out there, and it is. It's fluid, it's fast, any of the themes I install or apps I use don't bog it down at all. The battery life is pretty awesome, I mean the Nexus 6 battery life is kind of meh, but uh, I'm noticing significantly better battery life on here than on the stock ROM which I have used in the past. So yeah, this is a pretty great ROM. Uh, I recommend this over just regular Signage Mod 12. One, because it has a couple more features that I'm sure people would find useful. And two, because it's not bugging you with updates every night. I know you can optimize things so you don't get updates every day, but I'd rather get consistent updates uh, bi-weekly or every other week than get a new nightly every day that's not even really handmade 
to solve bug fixes. Uh, and it's really a more hands-on experience with Euphoria OS because it's a smaller team of people. So I'd give this ROM probably a 10 out of 10. I've seen no flaws or significant issues on here than I have on any other ROM I've used. Um, and yeah, so that's basically going to be about it. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up. And comment down in the description uh, what ROM review you want to see next or Nexus 6 coverage in general. I'm really loving the Nexus 6 so far. So that's going to be about it, and I'll catch you guys in the next one.